Hey, what's up everyone? Axel here. So this video is going to be very critical. So if that's not your thing, you might not want to listen to it, but there was a patch this past week that introduced some new mechanics and items into the game and I felt the need to talk about it because when I first read it, it, it really bothered me and it still really bothers me thinking about it now. Um, some mechanics that I think go too far in terms of what DDO should be doing in terms of monetizing the game and for this video in particular, just out of respect for you know the DDO staff there, I'm not going to post this video to the DDO.com fan site section of the forums because this again is going to be a very critical video. So uh, the things that bothered me in the patch uh, this week was the daily dice changes. So the new items and the new rewards. So let's go ahead and jump over here to the the list of the items that were added so the following list that you're seeing on the screen right now these things were newly added to the uh, gold rolls so the things that really stood out that bothered me was the lesser elixirs of discovery and just to be clear while functionally I find these things really bad for the game um, I am more concerned with the way they're being monetized than I am the actual function because you look at the function and basically for those of y'all who aren't aware haven't been following the game this week these things that the, the the most important items I think in the chest are these lesser elix elixirs of discovery and they add a percentage chance to finding name loot in chests. so yeah and this has been confirmed by the developers to also work in raids so essentially you can now indirectly buy raid loot from the store now you can't buy exactly what you want but you can spend money on in-game currency astral shards to buy a roll on the the daily dice to get one of these potions that give you an increased chance so it's a very indirect way of buying loot from the store but it's still an indirect way of buying loot from the store because it does make loot drop more often so that means your average number of runs that you're gonna have to do per per raid is reduced or per per quest if you're farming gear from a quest so you know essentially this is indirectly buying raid loot from the store and it's just that is a line that I don't think they should be crossing now I've really complained a lot in the past about the raid timer bypasses because I think they've been awful for the game particularly the end game um, I understand why DDO did it, and I think those are actually functionally worse than these el elixirs of discovery in terms of the the harmful effects they have on the game. Because the raid timer bypasses really hurt the raid game. Because you know we see since ever since they've been introduced, we've seen this this same process every single update that has a new raid with good loot in it. People just run it really hard for a few weeks, and then the thing gets abandoned. And prior to uh, these raid timer bypasses, the runs were more spread out, so we actually had a, a consistent, lively raiding community. But w with the raid timer bypasses, people will just go in really hard the first few weeks and spend money. And you know, it, it does make the game money. I understand they got to they got to keep the lights on. So I kind of understand, although I think it's terrible for the game if they're making a ton of money doing it. Being a small studio, if they what they have to do to to make the game. Um, make to, to keep the game around I can tolerate it I still don't like it I still don't agree with it I still think they should monetize in other ways but I can tolerate this T tolerate it but these uh, elixir discovery I can't you know I, I can't accept the way these things are being monetized because unlike raid timer bypasses that you can buy from the store um, and granted these lesser elixirs of discovery would still be really bad for the game in my opinion if you could buy them from the store but um, not only that, you can't buy these from the store at all. These lesser elixirs of discovery or greater or sovereign elixir of discovery, you can't buy them from the store at all. You have to get, they are exclusive to the daily dice. And not only this, but they've added a lot of other items to the daily dice. So really in this patch, daily dice has changed a lot. It's changed from being a bonus thing, which it was before, a nice bonus, to now it's a required way of obtaining items. It's required. You can only get these things as of right now. And maybe they change that and I hope they change it. But as of right now, these item, a lot of these items, particularly the, the elixirs of discovery, are exclusive to the gold rolls. So you can only get them through the daily dice. And that's a problem because it's a gambling mechanic and it's it's a real problem because that's the only way you can get these items if you could buy them in the store I would still think you know just like uh, just like 
the ray timer bypasses, I would think they're terrible for the game, but I could I could deal with it because you know they've got to make money. The game is you know I, I, the population's down. It's an old game. If they have to do that to keep the game alive, then okay. But this is not to me an acceptable way be, uh, of monetizing because what this does, since there's no cap on the number of rolls per day that you can do because you can just s spend real money and just continuously roll these things, you're gonna have people who are you know, who have gambling problems, who have addiction problems, who can't control themselves, who are going to spend like way more money than they should be, um, than they should be spending on these things. And it's not, to me, it's not okay for a money, uh, for a game like this to uh, monetize people's you know, gambling addictions or gambling problems. I'm not saying that that's what their intention are, intention is, I'm not sure if it is or not, but I think that's what this kind of mechanic is doing. Um, there was a good post that I saw on the forums. Um, this post, let me see if I can find it and I'll put it here. Um, this post right here, um, it wasn't by me. This is a, just a, by a, some other poster. I found this in the forums. He, he made a couple of good points. And I think this last paragraph here was a really good point. He said that um, recently we literally had a case in these very forums of a guy who couldn't help himself but to buy a bunch of astral shards, reroll chests, and at least Cordov and check that. So... You know, that's one case this guy's stating of, of someone who has a gambling problem who would constantly re-roll Astral Shards, which, you know, if we're going to get back to mechanics I don't like, Astral Shard re-rolls is not a thing I like, but at least with Astral Shards, I could stomach it because you can't continuously re-roll chess and to get name loot, and also they could only be re-rolled in regular quests, so you can't re do chess re-rolls for weight loot. Um, but now with... Uh, you know, with, with the way daily dice is, you can now do just, you can endlessly roll for daily dice. And I'm going to skip over now to a picture of the, the new picture of the gold rolls. And I don't know how common these drops are going to be because as we can see in the chart here, we see uh, gold roll 91 to 96 has a chance to drop name treasure boost. Um, these are these new items. So that's a five out of 100, so a 5% chance. Now, I would assume that I would, if I had to guess, and from my knowledge, they haven't told us, but I would guess that the sovereign is only in the 100, and that um, the 91 to 96 holds the other two. But maybe they're all in 91 to 96. But it doesn't really matter. In any case, there's going to be kind of a small chance to get. No, definitely, I would say definitely the sovereign. I would expect the sovereign to only be in 100. But so to get, so you're going to have people that want to roll continuously to get these sovereign elixirs and the only way they can get it is by gambling and there's people who are going to feed way more way too much money into these things and there's no cap on the number of times they can roll per day there's no cap on you know, nothing to keep that kind of people who are prone to these kind of addiction type problems in check and that really bothers me because that's something that's going to be monetized i mean they're going to be making money off of people uh, basically off of taking advantage of people's gambling problems. And again, I'm not saying that the developers at SSG are intentionally uh, trying to do that. I'm not sure if they are or not. Maybe they maybe they are, maybe they aren't. But um, what I am saying is that's what's going to happen regardless. There's going to be people who, who are just can't, with problems, you just can't help them think themselves, but roll these things continuously. And I find that to be a line they shouldn't cross when it comes to monetization. You shouldn't be gambling on getting an item you should be able to buy it directly. So, you know, again, if they wanted to sell these things directly in the store, I still think it's bad for the game, but I would understand. So, um, what else do I want to say here? Um, let's get into some comments by Severlin. Uh, he he did make this one post Wednesday about uh, someone was asking about drop rate numbers, and they also wanted to ask about if these new elixirs were additive or multiplicative and he ended up actually posting the percentage chance of the name loot table appearing so as you can see here it's 10 percent generally he said what they've used is 10 percent for normal 16 percent for hard and 33 percent for elite and then reaper is plus one percent per skull so what this is going to do is as far as i understand it the the elixirs are going to add a percentage chance to the, this chance of name loot appearing so it doesn't mean you can get what you want it, it just means that you now get a higher chance to get the name loot table to maybe get what you want so that's just something worth noting 
um, some common things that um, you know, uh, that I've seen posted. Well, actually, you know, let's go to uh, one of Severlin's posts here if I can find it. Okay, here we go. This one post, I actually responded to several on the forums and uh, about this. But basically, what he's saying here is he kind of liked these new ex these new elixirs of discovery because he, he you know he states that it encourages players to play rather than circumventing play. And I don't agree with that at all. I think that now getting back to the functional part of these, this item, I don't agree with the functional part of it that I don't agree with is the um, these things actually are going to hurt the rating scene and hurt honestly hurt the game in general because it's going to reduce the number uh, of people that are in raids specific well raids specifically so since these work in raids and the best loot is in raids this is just going to further reduce the number of times people are going to play because what's going to happen is um, you know several seems to be saying here and uh, this is what I, how i'm interpreting it he thinks that if they get an item like a potion of discovery that it's going to make them more likely to want to run a raid but maybe that's true to some extent and for some people that's probably true but i think what's going to end up happening with this item for the large majority of the time is that people are going to get this item that are already running raids and what it's going to do is since they have a higher chance to get named loot uh, on their roll it's just going to decrease the average number of runs that they need because if you have the a higher percentage chance to get loot that means that the number of runs on average that players are going to need to do to get their item is going to be less so there's going to be less people running on the servers because they don't need to re run raids less and uh, while there are some people who run raids for fun the vast majority of people from my experience only run raids to get their loot and once they're done getting their loot they stop running the raid so that's my functional concern with it now let's get into some of the um, some of the I guess concerns or I guess counter arguments I know some people have had on the forums and just my opinions of them uh, the first one being you know it doesn't affect you which I've heard that a lot people say okay well you don't have to buy it it doesn't affect you but it does for the reasons I've just explained with these potions in the game it's going to decrease the average number of runs that uh, kind of a serious raider is going to need to get their item so because of that I'm going to see less people running on the server now the one thing that I'm really afraid of is is how is this going to affect content going forward because while they may not, I'm sure they're not, wouldn't admit to doing this, they're probably going to have these things in mind when they, when they pick out what the drop rates are going to be for the loot in the next raid, so the upcoming content. So are they going to adjust the drop rates to take these potions into account? Are we going to see lower base drop rates in the future because these potions are now in the game? Maybe, maybe not. We don't know because they, they don't disclose, they generally don't disclose any kind of drop rates for items. So... You know that's a problem and it's something I'm concerned about and I think is a legitimate concern because you know they want people to roll to, to buy these things they're clearly monetizing it through gold rolls so are they gonna make the next really good item in the game even lower the lowest lower than normal drop rate so that people are more prone to you know roll, buy astral shards to roll on gold rolls to get these things I don't know maybe maybe not it's a, it's a it's a serious concern um, the next complaint I've seen a lot is it's a bonus or VIPs, so it gives you more incentive to be a VIP. No, it doesn't because, yes, while VIPs get one free gold roll a week, anyone can pay Astral Shards to get a gold roll. So it's not a thing that's going to – I'm not going to go, okay, <laughs> I'm not going to be like, oh, man, I want to be a VIP to get my one free gold roll. No, I mean you can you can buy a gold roll for, what is it, I think 15 Astral Shards. So if all you want is a gold roll, you don't need to go VIP to get that. You'd, sit, you'd spend a lot more money going VIP uh, than you know than you would otherwise if you just wanted to buy the the astral shards for the gold roll. So uh, the next one is the game needs to make money. And while that's true, I understand that they have to make money. I just feel like there are so many other better ways, more ethical ways they can make money than than by doing this. I think this this just crosses a line I'm not comfortable with, and I want to see them monetize the game in a lot of other ways. Like, 
Like, uh, let's see a more focus on, on cosmetics. I, I wish we saw more really cool, unique cosmetic outfits. I think those would sell really well in the store. Why, I don't know why we don't see more, like, exclusive cosmetic outfits on a regular basis. Like, every update should have a ton of new cosmetics. I don't know if it's that time-consuming to make. I wouldn't think it would be that time-consuming to make. But, again, I'm not, a, I'm not an artist or a developer, so I'm not sure. But I don't know why we don't see more cool cosmetics, more pets, things like that. Of course, new content is always best, although obviously that's time-consuming. You know, they could sell us more conveniences and things that don't directly affect power, like how about you know things that help you teleport between quests? How about mounts that increase your run speed throughout public areas? You know, how about things like that? How about um, maybe a, a temporary potion to increase your run speed through quests? Things like that. I mean, there's a lot of possibilities of ways they can monetize this game without having to, you know, go into this. Going delve into these uh, this this realm of you know what I consider to be unacceptable gambling type mechanics, you know with with monetizing the gold rolls like this, but I think if they have to have this in the game, and and I guess I'll end the video here. But what I really want to see is I what I want to see is these things taken out of the game. But if I have to compromise, at the minimum, what I want to see is these things added to the store. And the same goes for the plus 20 hearts, because as you know, as a, you can see right here, they've also added plus five, you know, plus 20 hearts to the the gold roll. And while plus 20 hearts are sometimes in the store, they're usually not in the store. So I I want those to also be available in the store while they're available for gold rolls, so people can just buy them if they want them. So people aren't just gambling on getting a plus 20 heart. So. Compromise would be, I, you know, I want these things to at least be in the store, not be exclusive. I don't think any item that is really powerful should be exclusive to the gold rolls. That really, really bothers me. So, guys, uh, please you know, comment. Let me know what you think about this. I'm sure, I'm sure some of you will agree with me. I'm sure some of you won't agree with me at all. I really would not like to see this change. This is something that's, that's bothered me more than... Um, this is probably the thing that's bothered me more than any other way they've monetized anything in the game in the past. I mean, this bothers me more than raid bypass timers. Not because I functionally think they're as bad as raid bypass timers. I don't, but I think the way they're monetizing the gold rolls like this specifically really bothers me. So, guys, that's going to be for this video. Um, I wanted to uh, wanted to do a happy kind of video on up, talking about how much I like Disciples of Rage, but I saw this happen. I felt like I needed to talk about this instead this week. So that's going to be it for today. I will see you all next time. Have a good one. Take care.